Hey y'all, Michael Smith here with the Bluefield Group and today I'm sitting down with Ania Chenault um, and we're going to talk about home warranties. So Ania, what, uh, what exactly is a home warranty? Well, a home warranty is a one-year service agreement okay. that will repair or replace major systems and appliances in your home if they just wear out, normal wear and tear. Okay. And it is a good uh, tool to have to for a, for a homeowner so that they can budget for unexpected home repairs that come with home ownership. To kind of put that in perspective, you know, American Home Shield is the oldest and largest home warranty company in the United States. Oh, wow. It is. That's great. And we pay out more service request claims than any other company out there. Um, last year, we answered 30, let's say 3.9 million service request claims. And then in the past five years, we paid out $1.8 billion in claims. So our customers are seeing the value and they are using home warranty. Okay, so you mentioned it's a service agreement that covers major systems and appliances. So what exactly is covered and what isn't covered in a typical home warranty agreement? When we refer to major systems, that's plumbing, electrical, heating, air, ductwork, water heater, and then of course appliances being oven range, cooktops, your built-in microwave, dishwasher, garbage disposal, refrigerator, washer dryer. And you can add some coverages for things like doorbells, ceiling fans, okay. um, garage door openers, even pool uh, spas, well like pool equipment. pumps and things like that? You can. Yep. Okay. But I think it's important to remember that not everything is covered. And um, you know, just to kind of give an example of that, I, I like to learn by example, sure. is that you know, say we go out and we have to you have a problem with your water heater. If we can repair it, we will. We are a repair company. Okay. But if we cannot, we would replace it. But if your 15-year-old water heater needs replacing, there may be some code upgrades that weren't necessary when it was installed 15 years ago that are now. So we may co ask you to cover like an expansion tank. In, in a lot of areas now you have to add an expansion tank when you put in a new water heater. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, that would not be covered by the warranty. We would cover the water heater, but you would be required not for that code Not bring it up to code. Yeah, I know in our area water heaters now have to be 18 inches above the floor if they're in the garage. Correct. And, and that wasn't 16. always true. True. Right. Okay. Well, interesting. So what uh, what exactly does the process look like of filing a claim? If you have an issue, then you would call, there's a couple of ways to do it. To me, the easiest way is to go online to ahs.com. You would be prompted to uh, request a repair and then enter your contact information, your name and your address, and then it would instantaneously give you uh, the name of the contractor and the phone number of who's coming out to do your repair. Then they, in turn, will call you within a few hours to schedule the appointment. Okay. That'll be followed up by an email and when they arrive you would pay a $75 service fee okay. uh, to them and then they would repair or replace or move forward with getting your problem repaired. Okay, that's great. Um, so in addition to having a home warranty in place when you purchase a home as a buyer, I hear that you can also get a home warranty if you're selling your home, right? So how does that work? You can. Um, when someone lists with you, when a seller lists with you, as a real estate professional, you can offer them the listing coverage from American Home Shield and it'll cover their major systems. Um, if they're offering a one-year warranty to a buyer, then the warranty becomes a great marketing tool because it gives those buyers that um, faith and assurance that there's coverage on the property now and you're going to have a year's coverage after you move into the home. But the three best things for the listing coverage is not only the markability as we mentioned, right. but there is coverage to mitigate um, repairs, covered repairs off of the home inspection. Example, the home inspector says we recommend a licensed HVAC person check. You can use your warranty coverage to get someone out to check it and uh, you would pay the $75 service if there's nothing's wrong you've gotten the unit check for the just the $75 if right. there is something it's the obvious you have coverage to help with that repair so um, the seller's coverage to me is something they miss out on a lot of times because either they don't understand it well enough or it seems a little too good to be true right. because in fact you don't pay for the warranty if it does not close. So even if we've been out on a call and we've done a repair and the home does not close, they'll never pay for the warranty. Okay, so let's say that I'm listing my home today and I want to get one of these warranties and 
offer that to the <laughs> buyers, right? Sure. Um, let's say that we close two months from now. Does that mean now there's only 10 months left for the buyer? No, that, that is in addition to the buy, the warranty, as I said, it's not paid for to closing, no money up front for seller's coverage. So once that seller pays for the closing or the buyer pays for the home warranty at closing, the buyer has one full year from that date. And so there's no difference in cost to the seller to have that coverage in advance. What would happen is if you would be paying for a year's coverage for the buyer mm -hmm. and if you wanted to add that coverage for the seller it's $75. $75. But it's not okay. paid for until closing. Nothing. Gotcha. Then okay. if it doesn't close, nothing. Then you don't pay anything at all? Correct. Okay, great. <laughs> so what about uh, transferability of warranties? So let's say that I buy a home, I have a 12-month contract and I end up for whatever reason, um, you know, let's say I get transferred to a job in another state and I need to move after six months. What happens to the other six months that I have in my warranty? You can definitely transfer that over to the new buyer. There okay. is no um, cost to do that. We just need the information and have the new buyer in our system. And then if you'd like to give them a full year, you can actually just go ahead and prorate it. You'd get credit for those six months and we can add on pay the difference to give them a full year. Well, that's great. All right, well, that's it for this video. Um, if there are any real estate related topics you want us to cover, please leave that in the comments below. We want to continue to bring valuable and educational content to you guys. If you have any questions about home warranties, uh, please reach out to us at the number or email address below. We'd love to get you connected with Ania. Sure. And Ania, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it greatly. Appreciate it. And we'll see you all on the next one.